There are 96 bird's eye aerial photographs of Mitcham that are on the Historic England website. On my website, Mitcham History Notes, I've got a page for photos. And on this page, under aerial, I have a link. It gives a list of various categories of these aerial photographs. In this video, I'm going to have a look at the Fair Green in 1921, one of the earliest aerial photographs of Mitcham. Nineteen twenty one. It's a remarkably clear photo. It was taken on the first of June nineteen twenty one. We can see the London Road coming through. And over in the far corner is Eagle House. So let's zoom in over there and start there. It does look like snow on the roof, but this being June, that can't be the case. Perhaps that's a reflection of the sun. So this is before the Monarch Parade shops and flats were built to the north of Eagle House. They were built in 1937, 36, something like that. And they were named after King George VI. Next we have the Industrial Schools building. The front area is laid out as allotments by the looks of it. 1921s, so that would have been during the First World War. For food production. Behind open fields, this is where Bomb Road Primary School will be built later on. You can see a lot of fields that are laid out in a pattern, presumably for food production. Very nice long wall here as well. This yard here with these wagons, the Harry Gray yard, the showman Harry Gray. Be in June, most of them will be out on the road. So I guess these that are left behind are either accommodations or wagons being repaired. So as I say, this is the London Road. We can see the Buck's Head pub here, distinctive brick pattern. Opposite it is Sibfort Road. Today, Sibfort Road is about this long, and then there's a car park, and this long line of houses. So this road then will be Fountain Road. We look at a 1952 map, then we can see the house layouts. This is a map that was surveyed in 1952. And what I like about it is it shows you the door numbers, particularly useful if you're researching family histories. And so we were looking up Sidthorpe Road, and the very first road we could see was Fountain Road. And just to confirm that, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine houses, then a gap. Then another the nine houses in a gap. Count by the chimneys, I suppose. One, two, three, four. So we have houses on a gap and more houses. Because these trees, I can't actually see where it continues. Hmm. Let's assume that that section between the two chimney stacks is two houses. That would make sense, it does look quite wide. So that's eight, a gap, then nine, yes, okay, so that would be nine. On that basis then, that's two, four, six, eight, and there's half there, so that's nine. So that's what that map showed us. This 1952 map 
does show a smaller house there which couldn't be seen because of those trees don't think I don't think it goes as far as the pub no but we can see in the road behind the mission hall of Gladstone Road so that would be Gladstone Road we're looking at the back of it there again this is 1921 So Sip Sipthorpe Road, which lots of small gardens out the front. You can see people in this. It's possibly there's a couple of residents there chatting away. So back to the London Road. And someone's sticking his hand out. I wonder if that's a policeman. that building still exists so there's this one which is the king's arms pub but that one was rebuilt and that one was rebuilt although it does look old today so this is the young's pub that was rebuilt in something like 1899-1901 let's look it up pubs king's arms photo from 2016 yes I took these photographs just after the or before the the bus street was reopened original pub was timber built rebuilt in brick 1899 to 1900 quite a nice design the interior was quite plush in the 1920s I've seen photographs of the interior at the Wandsworth Library in Battersea Hill near Clapham Junction Station because the Young's archives are there now. This post I think is the pub sign for the Buck's Head is still physically there so that's just in front of where there is now a bus stop. This parade of shops very old York Place demolished in the 80s when St Mark's Road here became a pedestrian precinct and the buses well this St Mark's Road was diverted into the London Road here anyway you can see these quite old because the style of building so then this is the beginning of St Mark's Road and these old houses were knocked down for some reason I say for some reason that's where the supermarket was built and multi-story car park and so forth we can see the tram lines there's the Jubilee clock in its original position with a bunch of people sitting around it the public toilets haven't been built yet. That was later on in the 1920s. And there's a bunch of people hanging around this tree. And it's a shame I can't actually see what's amongst this crowd. Because there was, according to the map, a fire alarm post. But that's for another video because that's quite a in-depth subject so we're now looking at Upper Green West Hutton's Fish Shop I think you basically can kind of work out Fred Hutton written there now the Hutton's Fish Shop that I remember was only one story it, this building was apparently damaged during the Second World War and the bombings and they only rebuilt it to one story and then these part these buildings here are still in existence and that's where the nags head pub was so this is before davis's coaches garage was put here 
and then this is the beginning of Western Road. So now we're moving to the Upper Green West on its south side, and this building here is Durham House. And I did enhance this photograph at some point, and you can actually read Mitchum Conservative Club written on the side. So this building was demolished in the 70s, and a concrete building which houses the Iceland supermarket. And the current building called Durham House is where the Conservative Club have their headquarters. But all of this corner here laid to allotments. And that was developed in the 1950s as Fair Green Parade. So this is Upper Green West on the south side. Looks like a horse-drawn carriage of some description. It's a bunch of people sitting around. Well, it's June. They do look rather overdressed for June. You never know, it could be a cold day. Now these buildings are from numbers 225 to 249 in the first block on London Road. I'll come back to that photo. What's of interest are the gables. Can you make out the ball on the top? It's a finial with a, with a decorative ball on top. And there's a also between the gables, there's also a similar ornament. But if you look at a current photo, as in well, I say current, this one's a 1950s photo from, from the Tuck collection. All of those finial balls are missing. Unfortunately, there was a bomb that landed on the Methodist church in the fairground. Huge amounts of damage. And I think some of the balls either came off or became unsafe. And so it was decided to remove all of the decorative finials because they can be quite dangerous. Bomb explodes over here, people over here think they're okay, and all of a sudden a concrete ball comes flying at them. So can we see this church then? Just a bit. There's a bit of the church. There's a Pathé newsreel that shows the damage. Let's have a look at that on YouTube. Mission Bomb, 1940. Not sure where that is. Was, pardon. But at the minute it will show us the church. Yeah. Okay, so this church here is this building here, which is there's the London Road, which continues there. This is the parade of shops with the finials on the top of the gables, and this is the church which here was destroyed. Now the reason I know that this is the church in the fair green is if we continue to watch this clip, I'm going to pause it. The buildings over there have those finials those balls on the top of the gables. So, this then is Upper Green East. And I would say this is 
the Gutridge Seed Store, which is where the Barclays Bank was built. That's Montrose Gardens. And that building still exists. Yes, so there you go. 1921, 103 years ago. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Press the like button if you can, if you wish. Consider subscribing and um, come back. I'll make some more. Bye.